today, ang video namin is all about our PR timeline. So, we are going to share how we got our permanent residency here in Canada. Starting off, excuse me, na nagland kami dito since December 8, 2018 hanggang present. At ano-ano yung mga nangyari sa amin para maging residente kami ng bansang ito. So, I hope uh, you would stay uh, till the whole video at um, makapulot kayo ng maraming information at ma-inspire namin kayo in, in, in much way that we can. And yan, yeah, simulan na natin. After years of seeing and traveling places, we decided to leave our home in Manila, Philippines and traveled 11,800 kilometers to London, Ontario, Canada. With the goal of giving better future to our kids, we see and enjoy the world without knowing anyone, no jobs waiting, nor any idea of what to expect in our new life journey in Canada. We had to find work, adapt to new weather, and see new things every day. This is our journey in making dreams come true. So join us as we share our life adventures and let's luck by! So, noong December 2018, as I've said, we landed here in Canada. Pero, nagland kami noon sa... London, Ontario. So, December 2018. Why December 2018? Actually, we decided na just barely a month before ang start ng schooling ko. Kasi, um, I am actually an international student. Um, kaya ako nakapunta dito sa Canada. And, um, pag international student ka kasi, you have the option to to bring your family and then yung husband mo automatic siyang open work permit so ano ba ibig sabihin nun so pwede siyang magtrabaho uh, so yun yung pathway namin to go to Canada so uh, actually yung iba kunwari ang ang date ng kanilang pag-aaral ay January 2019 kagaya ng akin yung iba pumupunta dito beforehand pa. So, pero kami, we decided na December 2018 kami lalang dito at December 2019 mag-start yung schooling. So, saan ba ako pumasok? So, nagland kami sa London, Ontario. Uh, the province is Ontario, of course. Um, galing kami sa airport ng Toronto. Tapos, Nag-bus kami, um, like a shuttle bus, going to uh, London, Ontario. Siguro mga 2 hours din yon. Hindi rin madali mag-apply mag for a student here in Canada. Lalo na kung medyo established ka na sa, sa, sa Pilipinas. Kasi ipoprove mo bakit ka magsa-study here. So, maraming considerations and marami ring agency na nagaayos ng papel para makapunta ka rito sa Canada pero sometimes it is very blinding na sinasabi nila madali sinasabi nila madali pero pag nandito ka na talagang hindi naman madali <laughs> medyo mahirap <laughs> kasi nga nasa ibang bansa ka at hindi ka sanay dito pero um maganda rin na makakuha kayo ng consultant um, maraming agency sa ating bansa pero mas in the long, in the long run mas ako na learn ko na dapat mag consultant ka talaga um, para well guided lalo na kung hindi mo alam masyado yung pinapasok mo so yun ano bang considerations para sa pagiging international student. Diba? Let's see this video from Lala. Hello! So, let's 
let's uh, briefly talk about study permit. What is a study permit? So study permit is a permit, not a visa, that allows foreign nationals to study in Canada um, at a designated learning institution. Meron po tayong list ng DLIs sa IRCC website. Now, ano ang benefits ng becoming an international student? So, one is by studying in Canada, you're gaining a world-class education. Second, uh, becoming an international student sa isang DLI na PGWP eligible will allow you to work in Canada after studying. And last, um, studying and working in Canada will open doors for you for your PR pathway whatever it may be. So, magkakaiba po tayo. Wala pong straight answer kung sino ang may uh, kung ano ang PR pathway para sa lahat. So, depende po sa inyong credentials and sa education and work experience and sa province kung nasan kayo, um, doon po mababase ang inyong PR pathway. Now, going back to study permit, there are a lot of things to consider. Uh, ang tips ko lang po sa mga aspiring international students is first, do your research. Um, if you are reading forums, um, make sure may basis po yung mga sinusulat. Hindi po porque nag-apply ito sa ibang tao or nakalusot yung ibang tao sa ganitong uh, sa kung ano man ang kanilang ginawa ay mag apply sa inyo. Sometimes na-overlook ng visa officer or yung visa officer na nag-review ay consider it. That's why they got approved. But sometimes it just wouldn't pass. So my suggestion is make sure what you are doing is legit. Make sure that you have reviewed not just the document checklist, uh, also the procedures in the manuals. And if you find that it's really hard for you to uh, to process or use your application for study permit, wag po kayong um, mag hesitate na lumapit sa professional because at the end of the day, there are a lot of things that are out there sa IRCC website na hindi po. Uh, nakulang po sa information when applying for a study permit because you have to understand ang uh, trabaho po namin mga consultants is to think out of the box think of ways how to show la lahat ng eligibility or how to show the visa officer that the student is eligible um, so if you think you can do it on your own go ahead but make sure you do your research uh, not just read the forum, make sure you find the legislation that supports that. Um, make sure that it's within the procedure. And kung hindi niyo po talaga ninyo kaya, please hire an authorized representative. And um, on a side note, an authorized representative are those authorized by the government of Canada to process uh, IRCC applications. So who are they? These are lawyers licensed in Canada. So they will be licensed under each provinces. Um, RCIC, uh, like myself, so we are licensed under CICC, uh, formerly ICCRC, and Notary Publics from Quebec. Other than those three, other than, other than those three licensees na na mention ko po, um, wala na pong iba. So, uh, Alam ko po marami pong agencies na nagsasabing they process study permit, make sure they are authorized because if they are not, wala po kayong hapon. Ang mga may lisensya, meron po kaming liability and we have bylaws that we need to follow when processing a permit. So, good luck sa inyong application. Hopefully, these tips have helped you. Take care. Bye. And then, pumasok ako sa Pancho College. So, ang Pancho College naman is uh, one of the best schools then in London, Ontario. Dalawa yan. Actually, may video kami yan. Uh, yung Western University and Pancho College. Yan yung mga medyo sikat sa London, Ontario. So, magandang school naman siya. Malaki. And... Nung nag-aral ako, hindi pa COVID nun. So, talagang in school siya. And then, um, nakakatuwa ang dami international students kung nakilala, maraming Filipino, iba-ibang lahi, and multicultural talaga ang Canada. That's why uh, we chose to go to this country. We love it here. And sa school, wala rin kami naging problema kasi napaka-friendly ng mga tao. 
and wala pang COVID that time. So, everything is like pretty normal. And, yun. So, ang, ang, ang course ko actually is about two years. In, uh, they say it's two years, but it, it's not really exactly two years. But, um, kasi there is also breaks in between the SEMs. So, pag I, I, pinagsama-sama mo siya, para nga siyang two years. Pero the course itself is not really literal two years. Um, but anyway, uh, parang finish ko rin siya ng two years. So, why? Siguro sa previous uh, videos namin, makikita nyo na nagka-anak ako dito sa Canada. So, my youngest, who, who is Jules, um, was was born here in Canada July of 2019. So, uh, pag, actually, pag, pag lapag namin dito sa Canada na, that time, hindi ko pa alam na I was pregnant. So, uh, pag, uh, sabi ko lang, parang I'm feeling weird, ganyan, and something, and then nagpa-check ako, and then, ayun na nga. So, anyway, so, kaya ako, inabot ng December 2021 para mag-graduate ng college is because, should have been earlier, but because I had to leave a term para to take care of the baby, eh, nag-file nag ako ng, ng leave for one SEM. And then, may isa pang SEM na hindi rin available yung some, some, of, some of my subjects. So, parang dalawang SEM yung extra sa time ko. So, meron ako mga kabatch sa Fancho College na nag-graduate before me. And, okay lang naman. Um, uh, maraming nangyari. So, we, we just have to deal with everything. And, um, awan ng just nakagraduate naman ng December 2021. And, nung time na yon dyan na rin kami nag-decide to to transfer here from Lo here in Winnipeg from London, Ontario. So, uh, maraming considerations bakit kami lumipat ng Winnipeg and um, like uh, availability of ng job, ng at uh, mas gusto namin yung pamumuhay dito, mas mura na um, cost of living, um, medyo malamig, yes, yan ang sinasabi ng lahat. Pero ngayon, uh, to date, um, masaya naman kami dito at wala kami pinagsisisihan sa aming decision pag-transfer here. So, there. So, nung January, so, nag-graduate ako ng J December 2021, I applied for a post-graduate work permit. So, ito yung kagaya ko, nag-two-year course ako. So, um, pwede mong i-apply yung pinag-aralan mo dito sa Canada and they'll let you stay for another three years. For having that two-year course, meron akong uh, I'm a temporary resident of Canada for another three years para ma-practice yung pinag-aralan ko. So, um, yung iba, umuwi ng bansa nila, but kami, we decided na um, gusto namin magstay and we wanted to to uh, test kung magiging okay ba kami kaming lahat dito. Kasi syempre may, may mga anak ako at hindi lang kami mag-asawa yung um, consider. Syempre, yung mga kids din kung makakapag-adjust, kung okay sa kanila. So, um, we grabbed that opportunity of um, uh, working here in Canada. So, nung nag-work na kami, lumipat din kami dito sa Winnipeg um, because gusto namin dito rin mag-apply ng PR eventually. So, um, while working, uh, since January 2021, hindi naman kami binigo. Marami namang trabaho dito kahit that was COVID already. Um, nabawas sabi ng nakararami dito, uh, mas maraming job pa raw nung hindi pa COVID. Well, unexplained, uh, explainable naman yun kasi syempre COVID, maraming 
naging restrictions, uh, maraming, basta maraming nag-iba, di ba? So, um, lahat ng mga papeles ko for my school, my extension, sa school ko, kasi nga, di ba, nag ako ng halos dalawang SEM sa school. Siyempre, permits mo, ayusin mo yan. Lahat may, meron akong nakausap na senior consultant, which, who is very reliable and professional. And, um, siya rin nag-asikasa ng uh, postgraduate work permit ko. Lahat ng ng permits namin dito sa Canada, siya ang tumulong sa akin. So, hindi ko i-discourage yung mga gustong mag-DIY. Um, but for me, hindi ko siya kayang i-DIY. Wala. Um, it takes a lot. It takes a lot of study. Um, pag nagkamali ka, mahirap. Um, may mga penalty. And Doon na kami, doon sa shore. So, naghanap kami, nag, nag, kumausap kami ng iba't ibang consultant. And, ang pinaka-importante talaga is mahanap mo yung consultant na palaga yung loob mo. Um, tiwala ka sa kanya na gagawin niyang lahat para ma-attain yung goals mo dito sa Canada. And, this this consultant has to to be honest also, kasi yung iba uh, marami kasing consultant na nasabi madali, sinasabi na ganito-ganito, pero in reality, mahirap naman ganyan, so, mamimili talaga kayo kung kanina kayo palagay ng loob na tiwala kayo, at at magaling din sana yung makuha yung consultant, pero in our case, we are lucky to have a very reliable and professional consultant. Um, she's actually from Toronto, so okay naman, malapit-lapit kami when, when we were in uh, in London. And hindi niya kami binigo. Lagi naman kami up to date to everything. So, yun. we love her. We love her so much. And then yun, so nang nandita na kami sa Winnipeg, nakapagtrabaho na ako, nagkaroon ng bagong work yung asawa ko kaagad, so sobrang blessed talaga namin um uh, pagdating so nag-announce ang ang Canada na merong bagong pathway uh, to permanent residency ang tawag dito TR to PR pathway so temporary residence to permanent residence pathway so, ang nakatulong ko dito sa, sa pag-aasikasa ng lahat ng bagay-bagay ay yung senior consultant namin na si Lala Messina. So, siya, siya yung may-ari ng um, um, Transcend Immigration. And she would explain more. Uh, Inimbitahan namin siyang mag sa aming uh, malit na vlog at mag-explain about the TR to PR pathway kasi siya talaga yung nakatulong sa amin dito. Um, ang galing, ang galing lang niya kasi um, ginaid niya talaga kami all throughout. Ano ba yung mga pathway na pwede namin kunin, gawin, sa abot ng mga meron kami. So, kaya sobrang blessed kami rin to have her in our life and um, here is her explanation kung ano yung pathway na tinulungan niya kami. Hello! Um, my name is Ella Messina. Ako po yung tumulong kila Ron or sa family ni Ron to become permanent president here in Canada. So, let's discuss the pathway. Uh, the pathway of their family. They became permanent president to, through the TR to PR pathway. So, what is TR to PR? TR to PR is a <clears throat> is a temporary immigration program na inintroduce ng IRCC noong 2021. So it is no longer active today. It was announced in uh, April 14th, 2021, 
uh, launched on May 6, 2021, and it closed on November 5, 2021. So, bakit nagroon ng TR2PR? So, the reason why the government of Canada came up with this um, temporary PR pathway is because there, every year, IRCC has immigration targets. And since the border are closed and hindi sila makapagparating ng mga from outside Canada, they had to come up with um, uh, with a PR pathway for those people that are already here, which makes sense because these people these people have studied here, worked here, so they have already contributed to the economy of Canada. So there were six categories. One is the English speaking category, and the other is French speaking. So for healthcare. So English category, they allotted 20,000 slots uh, for uh, essential workers, non-healthcare, they allotted 30,000 slots. And for international graduates, they allotted 40,000 slots. But for the international graduates, only those people who graduated uh, on a two-year program are allowed or eligible to apply in this particular program. Now, uh, the other stream, it's pretty much the same, essential healthcare, essential non-healthcare, international students, but they must be French speaking. And since Canada was trying to, uh, to increase uh, French speaking applicants, there was no limit on this uh, program. Now, this program is already closed. Uh, whether it's gonna be placed back on a permanent basis, we don't know, but so far, um, federal programs for PR right now are still the same. So it's federal skilled workers, people who doesn't have work experience in Canada, uh, Canadian experience class, people who had at least one year work experience on NOC 0A or B. Um, and third is federal skilled trades. These are the trade occupations. This one needs job offer. And the last one are provincial nominee programs. So um, the first two, federal skilled and Canadian experience class, you don't need a job offer for that. For federal skilled trades, you need a job offer. Provincial nominee, you need a nomination from the province. Um, what else can I talk about? I guess uh, in a gist, that's, that those are the federal programs in place right now. And provincial programs there's over 50 of them so depending on the province kanya kanya po sila ng um, provincial nominee programs um iba iba din siya kanila ang criteria iba iba din ang requirement um but then again uh whatever PR program you are looking at make sure you are eligible for this one i hope this uh short info session has given you um enlightenment sa inyong mga plans on coming to Canada. Thanks! Ayan! So, narinig nyo from Lala kung ano yung PR to PR pathway. So, um, uh, buti na lang sa sa lahat ng requirements niya, pasok kami at may mga nakarading requirements. Kaya, uh, nung May 6, which is the sub submission day, uh, tinulungan talaga ako ni Lala. Um, ako yung nag-submit, pero guided, magkausap kami sa phone, ganyan, and um, lahat ng tulong ginawa niya talaga for me. And I am so very, very blessed. Um, meron akong timeline dito, if a flash ko rin sa screen, pero sinasabi dyan na nag-submit kami nung May 6, uh, 2021. Naka-receive kami ng AOR. AOR yung parang uh, acknowledgement of receipt yata. Yun or basta ang ibig sabihin nito ay inaasikaso na nila yung application mo. So, October. Just imagine. May. June, July, August, September. October, five months. It took us five months para... Um... <coughs> Kasi kasuhin yung application namin ng IRCC. Ganun, ganun ka-busy ang IRCC that time, lalo na COVID. At less people ang gumagawa ng trabaho. Um, 
actually to date meron pa akong meron nga akong kaibigan na nag-submit siya pero mas malayo yung oras ng submission namin um, pero ngayon naka-receive na siyang AOR pero hindi pa rin niya nare-receive yung uh, kanyang PR so we're still praying for her and inaabangan din talaga namin so ongoing pa yung ibang applications to date um, tapos nung October 21 so nareceive ko yung AOR and then um uh, nung October 29 so um pinasa namin yung updated police clearance and then pinapa, may pina-update din sa amin na documents dun sa application nung November 15 and inasikaso to ni Lala together with us and then um after a few days uh, yung IRCC up PR approval na. So, November 19 yata yun. Basta late November. And so, yun. Tapos December, na-receive na namin yung PR card namin. So, happy happy talaga kami nun. Uh, uh, December, it's, it's such a good, a blessed uh, Christmas gift to us. And sobrang sobrang thankful at grateful kami sa aming na-receive nun. Parang when we flash back of our travel from uh, London to here, kung napanood nyo yung one week naming travel nun, oh, nasulit lahat dahil nung na-receive namin yung PR. So, ayun, napakasarap ng feeling. And sana ma-inspire namin kayo na kahit na may, may hirap kayong nararanasan sa una, eh for sure, papalitan niya ni Lord ng, ng, ng kaginhawaan, they say nga, sa huli. So, you just have to trust the Lord talaga and just do, do as He says. Um, huwag kayong mawawala ng tiwala sa kanya. So, yun. So, if you have any questions, suggestions, comments about this video, tanong, um, i-message nyo ako sa Facebook namin, dito sa YouTube, uh, para masagot ko kayo agad and we'll be happy and more than happy to to answer all your comments uh, and whatever it is. So, sana may napulot kayo dito sa video na to. And, and, abangan nyo ang ibang videos namin dahil marami na namang nangyari sa aming buhay <laughs> um, the past week. So, may mga surprise na kami para sa inyo. Um, ayun. So, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, let's look back! Thank you so much for watching! If you have any questions or suggestions, please write in the comment section down below. Click that subscribe button and hit the bell to get notified of our latest updates and videos. Don't forget to like and share! We promise to give you exciting and fun-filled videos here on Let's Luck Bye!